What's up, YouTube? Cholula's Comics back again, and I am here today to promote my good buddies, Freddy's 562 and the Doom 143 on their 200 subscriber video entry. And um, the really cool thing is actually um, the Doom, I think, is already past 200. He's past 300 now, and he's got another contest going on for his 300 sub. Um, so check that out. Freddy's my friend. I think he is fast approaching. I, I want to say he's at least past the 250 mark. Last time I checked, or, or right around there. So, I mean, good on both of those dudes. They're both really cool dudes in the community. Uh, known Freddy's for a little while. He's always really, uh, uh, really active, really uh, supportive on everybody's videos. Shows off a lot of great books. He shows off a lot of rare books. Um, he's really big into slabbing. So, that's, that's cool. I respect that. Uh, Doom has a ton of content very knowledgeable guy uh, really cool guy and uh, I know he's always trying to help youtubers out whether it be with uh, acts of kindness or with um, you know just kind words or support or, or whatever but both both really cool guys and let me let you know that these guys are giving away some ridiculously dope ass projects I mean uh, uh, prizes they're giving out some really cool prizes so uh, man you guys check them out sub them sub both of those guys up I, i've been sub to each of them for for a while now so uh, happy to be able to do this uh this video it's a little late i'm getting sleepy but i want to make sure i do this because if i don't do it today I, i'm not gonna do it so I, I gotta i gotta make sure to do this so i'm doing this for y'all all right um so they only they asked a, a few simple things of you i mean number one be over 18 number one be sub to both so make sure you are sub to both of them uh, make sure you share their video, which I'm gonna do in the subscription uh, in the description below. Um, and then they asked uh, two really simple questions. Uh, number one, what is the toughest book that you've had to find in your collection? And and I want to show a couple of things. And they were the toughest books for me to find for a few different reasons. Um, the first one that I have on the list here is uh the king size hulk special number one where the hulk battles the inhumans and uh man I, I just i really love this book i love the art on it i love the fact that it's a king size special uh the homie enrique from biggest comics i know he feels me on that he loves the the king size specials um uh, and this is i mean this is one of those pivotal king size specials um this book is going for quite a bit of money uh when you look for it and to be honest I mean the price point is difficult. It's tough for me to be able to justify to spend so much money on a book um, The one that I have is not the best copy. I mean I got it in my law right now So it looks real pretty, but I mean it's it's got some creases. I think it's got a uh, No, I don't think it has a spine split. It has a small little crease. It's kind of breaking there But you know what for this copy that I have here and the price that I paid for it, I'm really happy. I just, it just took me such a long time to find a copy that I was comfortable with purchasing and spending the amount that I did on. I want to say I spent about 40 bucks on this book or so, and I was comfortable spending that much for this particular copy. It, like I said, it's it, it's not anywhere near a, it's not a near mint. It's not like perfect or flawless by any means, but you know it's not there's no tears there's no rips there's no pieces missing so i mean it's a book that i've been wanting for quite a while it's a it's an iconic book i mean the hulk being my second favorite character it's, it's a book i've been looking for for a long time so glad to finally have this one in my collection another one um <laughs> i shot biggies out again um and actually let me tell you a, a, a little bit of backstory on this um one of my favorite characters ever since i've little since i was little and i mean i'm talking like first grade so it was probably not okay for this dude to be my one of my favorite characters, but it was the main man, Lobo. And Lobo, if you guys know Lobo, which hope you do, he's um he's a pretty violent dude. <laughs> there's a lot of gore, there's a lot of stuff going on in his books that isn't really kid friendly, but for whatever reason, my, my comic book shop they would they would let me buy the books. Um so uh I, I used to really read all of his books when I was little. Um, and so it was, I had a really soft spot in my, in my heart for him. Um, you know, as I grew up and got older, I knew that Omega Man number three was his first appearance. And, um, 
when I first got on uh, to YouTube and started talking to a couple of folks, they used to talk about, oh, everybody should get their birthday book. Do you know what your birthday book is? Basically, the book that was printed on your birthday, right? And uh, come to find out, I didn't have this book yet, and my birthday is June 13th, June 13, 1983. This book was printed June 1983, so I was like, man, that's that's dope. I, I gotta get this. Like, it's one of my favorite characters from the time that I was little, and it's my birthday book. Um, so it took me quite a while to hunt it down. And again, it's not because it's a particularly rare book or difficult book to find, but there's been a lot of talk about you know him possibly showing up in a movie lately and this and that. So the price was just more than I wanted to pay than I was willing to put to pay everybody wanted 75 80 100 bucks for it I finally found this copy which is actually a really 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 nice copy I mean it's got really sharp corners no no spine uh, ticks no color breaks um, I'd say it's an it's got one little thing here I think easy 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 nine six I don't see why it would be any lower than that and and I got it for about 40 or 50 bucks um, but I couldn't help myself because I got a really nice copy and this uh, I, I found this one a little bit later I think I might have been going crazy <laughs> it probably shouldn't have got it but this is a 9.4 CGC graded same book um, and the reason I ended up picking this one up was because I got it for a really good price um, so I just I had to do it um, so now I got a copy to read if I want I got a copy that's slabbed and preserved which and I'll talk touch a little bit more on that for your second question because I know your second question is slab versus unslabbed um, so those are the two books that you know reasons being for price point versus condition of the book they were hard for me to find I know again I know they're not like really difficult or, or, or really hard to find like that sonic book that you were showing but they, they were tough for me um, and actually, and, and I just want to show one more set of books as far as tough to find. These were tough for me to find at the time. They're lesser, they're lesser known books, um, but they're really important to me. Um, they're really cool books. They're published by Abysmal Comics. The cover, um, I mean, the artist and the author are one and the same. His name is Rode Montijo, Rody Montijo. And uh, he's from my hometown in Stockton, California. And, and the whole reason I found out about these books it had to be 2001, 2002 when I just graduated high school. I'm driving around the, uh, the city and I see this huge van and it's got all this really cool artwork. And it, it looks like comic book style artwork, but it's on this van and it says Pablo's Inferno. And it has a website, pablosinferno.com. I, I just checked it up before I did the, the video um, and it's not up anymore. But um, it's at pablosinferno.com. And so I look it up and it's like, oh, local comic book artist. Uh, Road Montijo came out with this comic book and I was like, oh wow, that, that's that's really cool. And here's here's number one. Let me show the covers and stop talking. <laughs> so here's number one. Uh, really cool storyline. Basically, it's about this kid, Pablo, who goes out. Um, his mom, uh, lo manda traer el mandado. For those of you that don't know, that means she sent him to go, get, you know, to go pick up some things, to run some errands. Here's number two. And Rody, when I finally actually met him, he, he signed them all for me. Um, and on this one, let me show real quick. He uh, he uh, did a little sketch of the skull. You see that right there? He did a little sketch of the skull. That was really cool. Uh, she sends him to, So the mom sends him out to go get the... Uh, run some errands. As soon as he steps foot out the door, he steps foot in the street without looking. And he gets plowed by, uh, by a van. And he dies on the spot, poor kid. And he gets sent to hell... But it's not regular hell, it's like Mexican Aztec hell. And he goes basically through the seven circles of hell. It's kind of a parody on, um, if you guys have ever read the book Dante's Inferno. Um, here's issue four, which he also signed for me. Um, and it's kind of like that. He goes through this, these, these different levels of the Aztec hell and he meets some gods and he meets some uh, famous luchador wrestlers. Here's book number five. And he kind of, he has a lot of answers. At first, he doesn't even know he's dead. There's spirits that are chasing him because they sense that he's good and they're evil. And it's a really fun read. It's a really cool read if you guys have never heard of it. Check it out. It's Pablo's Inferno. And it was difficult for me to find at the time because I was fresh out of high school. It was about 2001. I'm finally making my own money. I want to buy my own video game. I mean, my own uh, comic books. And um, we didn't have a whole lot of comic shops in my hometown. There was two. 
it was a small little city in Northern California and uh, nobody had it they'd sold out nobody had it I'd look on websites like mycomicshop.com and Midtown back in the day and just couldn't find it nobody had it um, so years you know and I'm always in shops like just anytime I go visit another city I'd, I'd hey you guys have problems in front of you ever heard of it nobody heard of it nobody'd seen it and so I go to back when we still had it was one of the last years that we held WonderCon here in Northern California we had it in San Francisco uh, before it actually ended up moving down to uh, Anaheim it was one of the last years and once you know it Rody was there I didn't even know he was gonna be there he was just there I saw the banner Carlos Inferno he had the books out and I was like and I was still a lightweight kind of move to to, to, con to conventions and so I went up to him and I was like oh my god dude you don't even know I've been looking for you I've been looking for you forever he was like he was kind of taken back he was like oh what me and I was like yeah I go are you from Stockton he goes yeah i was like man so am i I used, to see, I used to see the van driving around all the time and he was like oh yeah i was like dude since 2001 i've been looking for your books he's like really he goes they're everywhere i was like no dude i can't find any and he was like okay well you know i don't know what he what he was charging for the book so like three bucks a pop five bucks so like 15 bucks right he's like oh yeah you know just give me like 10 bucks or 12 bucks or whatever you want i was like really so i reach into my pocket it's the end of the day and I'm out of money. And I'm like, Fuck, are you serious right now? And I was like super embarrassed. And he's like, man, don't even worry about it. He's like, that's really awesome that you're from my hometown, that you heard about me, that you've been looking for the books for this long. He starts signing them. He like draws a cross. And I said, Rody, listen. I go, that's cool. I, I really appreciate it. I go, I'll be right back. So I like run across the street. I run to an ATM, pull some money out. And I'm like, here you go, man. And I don't know, it was just kind of a cool little story. It was a cool experience. Not like a crazy hard book to find. Now I find them online all the time, but that was my story of hard to find books. Um, so there you go. <laughs> Those are my hard to find books. Um, as far as Slab versus Unslab, man, if you would have caught me a few years ago, I would have said, oh my God, I want to slab everything, but. You just can't do it. It's not feasible. I mean, personally, I don't have money to be spending on slab books or slabbing books all the time. It's just crazy. I would love to slab a lot of books and show off slab books all the time. Uh, but I, I understand the other side of it, too. I know a lot of people want to read their books. I personally, I know you say you didn't read that many of your books, Freddy's. Uh, I, when I can, I read a lot of my books. I think I've read the majority of my collection, and I, I have a pretty good collection, size collection. So that's not a lot, I guess. <laughs> Um, I know all my Wolverine books I've read, but, um, you know, I slab what I can, when I can, for different reasons, and I'll show you an example of stuff that I have slabbed and why I slabbed. Um, these, these sets of books that I'm going to show real quick, these books I all bought slabbed and I got for a good deal. Uh, this is Spider-Man vs. Wolverine, CBCS 9.6, so that's... I, I mean, these all these this this batch that I'm going to show right here, all slab books that I uh, that I bought slab and got for good prices. Actually, in this next one, I didn't buy. My wife bought for me, and this is awesome. We actually actually bought it. This is Marvel Zombies number oh shit number five. It's a it's a CGC 9.4. It's signed by the artist Arthur Sudam, and it is um this is a cover swipe of uh. Oh, man, I forget the one, and I actually have that book too. This is a cover swipe of uh, Peter Parker marrying uh, Mary Jane, and this is the one. There's two versions of that book, actually. One where uh, the heroes and villains are there, and then there's one where it's like the regular guests at the wedding. Uh, but this is the the zombie cover swipe of it. Um, and actually, like I said, it was really cool. My wife bought me this book um, for our anniversary. I think for our five year anniversary. So. That was a really cool gift to get. Um, this is uh, Detective Comics number one for the New 52. I just I always love this cover with Joker kind of over all the doll heads, which is kind of cool. Um, 9.2 CGC. This one, again, I got a really great price on. This is uh, Miss Marvel number one, uh, CGC 7.0. You know, not in the best shape, but I got such a good deal on it that I was like, I'm picking it up. Why not? And then this one is a PGX 9.6 X-Men 221. This one is the first appearance of Mr. Sinister, as you guys know. Um, you know, key issues. I, I personally want to slab them. 
like I said, I, I understand that you don't read them, you show them off more for the artwork, and, and that's why I would slab them is for the artwork and to preserve them. Um, key issues I always want to slab, but I'm on that one side too that I read them, I'll, I'll read them, I'm very careful about how I read them, but I'll, I'll read them all, and then I'll slab them, or buy them slab already and have a reader copy or have an online copy that I can read. Um, so those are examples of books that, I, again, that I bought slabbed already. Um, here's a couple of books that I bought raw. And because I actually got to meet the artists, I got them slabbed. This is a CBCS 9.8. This is uh, Batman and Wonder Woman, number 30. And it's signed by the artist Mick Gray. And I just really love the art. I love the cover. I love the fact that I got to meet Mick Gray in person and get this, send this book in to get slabbed. It's, it's more of a memory for me. You know, I get to, I get to remember that I did that, that I met him, and he was a freaking cool guy, you know? Uh, Batman and Robin number 33, I really like this because uh, this is a CBCS 9.2, again, signed by Mick Gray. I like this one because Batman's being held back by the entire Justice League, like the three biggest heavy hitters, Shazam, Aquaman, and Wonder Woman are trying to tie him back and hold him back, and it seems like they can't do it, so, uh, I mean, that's dope. Mick signed it at the bottom there. Uh, I sent these other two books in with my, that same order. These are also going to be CBCS 9.6, just because I like them. I mean, that's not really the only reason why I freaking like them. Wolverine number 145. Got the the foil claws on it right there. And he looks ferocious. He looks mean. It's dope. I, I love the cover. I love the art. This is one of those ones that I just like the cover, so I got it slapped. Simple as that. And here's one more example of that. Amazing Spider-Man of the most recent volume, number 15. This is the first appearance of Mary Jane in the Iron Spider suit, and it's at a 9.8. Um, it was in my collection. I bought it raw. I got to read it, and I sent it off with that same order that, uh, that I sent uh, the McGray stuff in with um, to get uh, slabbed and graded by CBCS. You know what? Another, another reason why I decided to slab these books is um, I actually got to learn a lot about the process for grading i'm not before that i hadn't really bought a whole lot of slab books but looking at the books afterwards now i see why they grade things the way they do i'm a better judge of books i, I mean it, it it was a really good learning experience for me because i feel like i can judge a book a whole lot better now and not be worried like hey am i overpaying for this book am i underpaying for this book is the person who's selling me this book do they have it accurately graded um, it was a really good learning process for me. I, I, I liked doing that. Um, and finally, 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 the reason that I would slab something is if you have what to me, I guess, is, it's not a super major key, but like maybe a, a major first appearance and it's signed by, you know, somebody who who's great. I mean, this is, I've showed these books before. I don't mean to keep showing them, showing them, but I like showing them, so I'm not going to lie. I like showing them. <laughs> this is X-Men number 14, the first appearance of the Sentinel, CGC 6.5, and it's signed by Stan Lee. Um, all of the books that I have signed, Signature Series guys, for the most part, I, actually, you know what, I think every single, except for that, uh, except for that amazing, uh, except for that Zombies, Marvel Zombies one, I think I've gotten to, I've had them all personally signed. I got to meet the artist and get it signed myself. Here is uh, Tales to Astonish number 59 which is the first appearance of the Hulk since his issue since his uh, original issue since his original debut so he appeared in a credible Hulk number one was his first appearance obviously but that series only ran issues one through six and then he kind of fell off the map for a little while but then he makes his next appearance in this issue here where he fights giant man um, so this is another Stanley story got Stan to sign it oops on this side here um, and that first book that I showed, that X-Men one, that's going to go to my youngest daughter someday. This one here is going to go to my uh, to my son because Hulk is one of his favorite characters. And my oldest daughter is going to get her hands on this one. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 50, 7.0. Again, signed by the man right there. Um, so I don't want to show those. I, I mean, I've, I've showed those books a few times now, but I, I, I like showing them. So. Um, those are my favorites in my collection. Um, yeah, man, that's what I got. So those are the, the hardest books that, 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 that were the hardest for me to find. That's why I 
choose to slab there are certain things that's why I choose to buy certain things already slabbed and um, I think I answered all your guys' questions sorry this video ran kind of long um, yeah that's it. it let me know if I need to figure anything else out for you guys uh, congratulations to both of you both of you guys is really cool dudes um, if you guys are sub to them just hurry up and sub them I don't know what you guys are waiting for I'm gonna go ahead and put links to their channels in the description below um, and it's really late I'm falling asleep I'll check you guys out real soon to lose comics I'm out until the next time I see you guys keep stacking out the comics